Hi guys, if you have a waxy, oily, even crumbly uh, substance either under your foreskin or the top of your vagina, this is the ideal video for you. That is smegma, and if you want to know how to get rid of it and prevent it, keep on watching. Also, one thing that's really good is if you want to support this channel, press subscribe and like. So, what is smegma? Uh, it's skin cells, it's oil secretions, a bit of moisture from urine, uh, all mixed into one. And if it smells really bad, it's probably because it's been infected a little bit. And it's not a smegma, it's not a fishy smell, it's more of an uh, off cheesy type smell. Uh, generally, it's more common in men, especially if you've got a foreskin. Uh, and it tends to be collect uh, under uh, the foreskin by the glands of the penis. In women, it can be around uh, the clitoris and the labia minora, which is the inner part of the vagina at the top. A lot of people uh, come to me and say, how do I get rid of this? Um, I'm washing as normal, um, uh, I'm using soap and it's not going away. Stop right there. You don't use soap, you just use water. And chances are you're probably washing and probably peeing incorrectly. So guys, this is what you need to do. Uh, when you're standing up to go to the toilet and peeing, you pull back the foreskin as far as it can possibly go. You then pee and then shake off the head of the penis to get rid of those last drops. Yeah, you turn around where there's a sink basin and splash a little bit of water on the head of your penis, then dab it dry, okay? And that way you can get uh, rid of any uh, secretions and that helps get rid of uh, smegma and helps also prevent it from coming back. If you're in the shower, always pull back that foreskin and uh, again, wash it just with water. No soap. Soap and bubbles is really, really bad. Uh, and I'll explain why in the next episode along with, when it comes to genital hygiene. If you want to use something, you can use something called an emollient. Emollients don't contain surfactants, they make bubbles. And so therefore, emollients generally don't cause dermatitis. Uh, two makes which uh, I commonly use is Dermal 200 and E45. You have to remember though, these are not creams, these are soap substitutes. So as soon as you put them on, you wash them off as if you do with soap, but they shouldn't harm the skin. But if you don't want to use that, just use water and, it's, uh, and that will do the job. Uh, for women, uh, pee as normal uh, and you can, by all means, dab it dry. But ideally, if you can, splash a little bit of water on as well uh, by uh, a bee day. Now, if you're using a bee day, the water should only go on the surface of uh, the outside of the vagina just to rinse off uh, where the pee comes out. Okay, that's just underneath the clitoral hood. Get a mirror to have a look if you're not quite sure. But don't put water inside the vagina. That's called douching. It's really bad. Don't use bath bombs. And again, uh, just use um, uh, uh, plain old good old fashioned water. Your genitals are as nature intended. They're beautiful, they're lovely, and this is how they're supposed to be. Uh, don't over scent them. Don't use too many products. Uh, the whole entire of the mass media is telling you to use certain products to uh, clean your genitals. Actually, they're all self-cleaning. They just need a bit of help with a bit of water uh, on a uh, more than um, uh, often basis. So look after yourself, take care, watch the next episode on genital hygiene, and all be good. See you the next time. Goodbye.